One of the more common issues regarding diaphragm seal performance, specifically the performance of diaphragm seals mounted onto smart transmitters, is that of ambient temperature fluctuation. Right now, we are going to illustrate how ambient temperature fluctuation affects the performance of smart transmitters that have diaphragm seals mounted to them, and one simple way of how you can solve that. Mounted here to the right side of the column is a DP transmitter with two remote seals. The diaphragm seals are flush face, 2 inch, 300 pound ANSI flange connections. The high pressure side is direct mounted to the transmitter. The low pressure side is mounted with 5 feet of capillary. The transmitter is ranged to minus 30 to positive 30 inches of water column. In order to simulate an ambient temperature change, we have wrapped the low pressure side capillary in a heat blanket, in essence replicating the same effect as the sun rising and heating up the exposed capillary at the top of a tank. The column is empty and the transmitter is zeroed, so the only variable that will be changing is the temperature of the top two feet of capillary. Our starting ambient temperature is 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The best way to combat this drift is to increase diaphragm size, which not only adds sensitivity to the assembly, but also helps eliminate pressure drift due to temperature fluctuation. Unfortunately, a flush face seal only allows you a limited area to fit both the diaphragm and the raised face gasket surface. So over here on the left side of the column, we have the exact same transmitter setup, except with an offline diaphragm seal. This is our W7 model. It has a 4.1 inch diaphragm that essentially takes up all of the space inside of the bolt circle of the flange and utilizes a lower housing that allows the customer to mate up with a raised face gasket surface below the diaphragm. We are running the exact same simulation here. What is occurring is that the fill fluid is expanding ever so slightly as it is heated up. The capillary leg as a whole is a closed system with the process diaphragm on one side and the transmitter sensor diaphragm on the other. If the process diaphragm is not flexible enough to absorb the fluid expansion, then a pressure will be applied to the sensor diaphragm resulting in a false pressure reading, or what is known as temperature drift. The W7, with its 4.1 inch diaphragm, has an effective surface area three and a half times larger than the flush face seal. That added surface area makes the diaphragm much more sensitive and more able to absorb some fill fluid expansion without exerting a false pressure onto the transmitter sensor. So the general lesson here is that diaphragm size matters. Bigger is always better. And especially when using flush face diaphragm seals of two inch pipe size and smaller, you may be compromising both accuracy and durability of the assembly. Whether measuring flow, level, or pressure, an appropriately sized and properly built diaphragm seal assembly should have a negligible effect on the transmitter performance. We look forward to helping you out on your next remote seal assembly opportunity.